Ghost filmed the concert in Los Angeles. If you're out there wondering what was Ghost doing on the final stop or the second to stop, last stop of their Im free Imperator in Los Angeles at the Forum, well, they were filming it. They didn't let me use my phone, so nobody was taking pictures, nobody was taking videos. Anything that you see that's not from Ghost from this show is fake. But they gave us a couple of surprises from the set list for an awesome concert. I did get a t-shirt, as I always do. This is how I remember the concerts I go to. There's the t-shirt I got. There's the dates on the back and everything. They did have a, uh, a, a tour t-shirt that was for the forum show. I didn't really like it. It was just a picture of Papa on the front with the tiny little forum right here. I didn't like it that much. But let's get to what the concert was and how amazing was it and what was there that was new. So if you're looking for stuff, you're looking for spoilers or whatever from this, they did film this show. They had cameras everywhere. They had a special stage set up as well. So they had the stage in the front, like every other normal concert in the forum, you know, going around it like this. But they had a little stage in the middle with a piano and some other instruments. And in the middle of the show, Papa went out from the stage into the middle, sang a song. He sang We Have Ghosts. It was the tour debut for that track, and it was a sort of... Um, you know, stringed uh, version of it. It was really cool to see. People freaked out. And then, weirdly, he put on a boxing robe and came back to the main stage. The other sh surprise for this show was that they had the live debut of the song 20s from Impera, and that was amazing as well. They had these skeleton dancers coming out that were doing interpretive dances with the, with the band. That was crazy. We got a 21-song set list. It was just an absolutely amazing show. Probably one of the best concerts I've ever been to. I love Ghost. I love how they sound. I love the look that they have. I love their merchandise, their t-shirts, their music, their lyrical content. It's just their whole, the total package. And I know there's plenty of people out there that are gonna that are gonna cry and whine. Ugh, Ghost aren't metal. They're not. Ugh, it's Blue Oyster Cult, and their image is scarier than they are. I don't care what you think. You suck. If you don't like Ghost, you don't like Ghost. But don't crap on other people for not liking them. I love the band. Uh, the Re-Imperator was a success. They visited all these these places, and then they have the uh, last two dates in Los Angeles. They're probably going to do the same show for tomorrow's show on the 12th of September. They're probably just filming it to get as much stuff as they can for a nice live video. To go through the set list, uh, setlist.fm, you can check it out there. But they kicked it off with Kaiserion, and they went from there. They played six songs off of Impera. They played Watcher in the Sky. That was awesome. They played some older tracks. They played Year Zero. They played He Is. They played Mummy Dust. It seemed like the little uh, confetti shooters that were shooting out money and stuff like that from Mummy Dust might have malfunctioned a little bit because they ended up shooting all over the stage and not all over the crowd. They had to have somebody come out with a leaf blower and blow it off the stage. And then during the encore, Papa was grabbing some of it and throwing it at the crowd. But they went through basically all their albums front like fantastic show really really well paced show as well i know sometimes if you go to see a 21 song concert it might be a little bit lengthy a little bit okay we're kind of getting to the time here there wasn't any tracks like that the only thing that i could complain about about this show was not actually the band it was the forum or maybe the band a little bit during um some of the tracks, especially the more bassy heavy tracks, uh, they played, uh, just, they had this weird reverb sort of like thunder rumbling almost that was like, it hit you right in the chest. I had earplugs in and I could feel it. And just uh, during a couple of the tracks, it was really noticeable and it just kind of took away from it a little bit. But outside of that, they sounded great. Papa sounded great. Um, Tobias Forge, the lead singer of Ghost, sounded absolutely fantastic tonight. I hope they use a lot of footage from this sh this concert, not tomorrow's, because I'm selfish. I want to see it and all of that. Other than that, the encore was perfect. They played Kiss the Go-Goat, they played uh, Dance Macabre, and then they played Square Hammer. It's crazy that Ghost has this many songs in their catalog that they can fill out a 21 song show and not have any stinkers they played pl six songs off of their newest album this late into a tour they were on the pre-imperator then the imperator and now they're on the re-imperator three legs of a tour and they got through it all 
They played plenty of songs. People freaked out for a lot of the songs. They freaked out for 20s. They freaked out for Respite in the Spitalfields. They freaked out for Watcher in the Sky. There was plenty of tracks here. They freaked out for um, Call Me, Call Me Sun, Little Sunshine. Plenty of tracks that were just great. I would have liked to hear Hunter's Moon, just because, you know, my name is Hunter, and that track from Halloween Kills, amazing. But really, there's not a lot to complain about here. If you're a fan of Ghost, you would have really enjoyed this show. I know there's going to be plenty of people out there that are, you know, super jealous that they didn't get to see some of the stuff on this tour or at the end of this tour. You're going to get to see it eventually. It's going to be filmed. Beautiful live HD cameras and all of that. There was no opener. Amon Amarth didn't open for this show. But, man, this was a hell, a hell, a hell of a concert. I've seen Iron Maiden. I've seen Metallica. I just saw Metallica last, like two weeks ago. They were fantastic. This is one of the best concerts I've ever been to. And that's saying a lot. I've been to a lot of them. I love Ghost. I love this new album, Impera. I can't wait to see where they go from here with all the characters, the lore, all of that. They went through. They played plenty of tracks. We got a saxophone solo. We got some effects. We got some fire, some fireworks and everything. If you love Ghost, this was the perfect show to see. I can't wait for all of you to see it when they release the live video, hopefully sometime soon. But uh, what do you think about Ghost? Did you show up at this tour? Are you seeing it tomorrow? Let me know in the comments. And if you like more from Ghost, you'll love my Iron Maiden-a-thon series that I did. It goes album by album, track by track. You can get all of my sort of thoughts and everything on all of Iron Maiden's albums right here.